Okay, let's uh, clean that whiteboard up. Okay, a very nice question that we got here. The next question on the menu, how do we solve a natural logarithm of x um, of x and that's equal to 7.25 okay now um, let's talk about natural logarithm for a second first this is really just log base e of x is equal to um, 7.25 and what log basically is saying is that the base here, that's the base, base to the power of the result, 7.25 in this case, is equal to x. Um, this is essentially like the, the secret sauce to, um, to to finding logarithms. Uh, in this case, the base is E, Euler's number. Um, yeah, Euler is spelled with a e, uh, EU. Euler's number. Now, this is a very special and spicy number in mathematics. Um, you'll see it a lot. Um, it's uh, 2.718, on and on and on. Um, it was originally calculated by, you know, Euler himself. He was trying to figure out some, some stuff about compound interest, and um, he named a number after the magical number that he found. Because no matter how much you increase the compounding period, like um, if you're familiar with compound interest, um, compounding period is like how often you're in increasing. Um, even if you do that, like every nanosecond, every microsecond. Um, or every microsecond or every, any picoseconds like you're doing that extremely frequently you'll never get more than a return rate of like uh, of Euler's number okay but uh, that's not particularly important um, what is more important is how we can use this little squared off section and use that to solve this okay so um, we know that we can essentially raise the power um, or, or this is essentially what the equation is saying uh, or what logarithm means uh, just like a little bit rewritten so the secret sauce that I want to tell you is that e to the power of ln of x is equal to x and um, so e to the power of ln x that's just the left side becoming the power of e so we have to do that to the same the same thing to the right side. Um, so e is going to be the base to the power of seven point two five, and that's what x is. Um, so let's uh, run that through the calculator. I got my trusty Texas Instrument TI eighty four. It was a gift um, that's been rocking strong with me since two thousand eleven. It was a gift from my big sister. Thank you, big sister. And we got to find Euler's number e. Um, I'll find it fast, I promise you. Aha, e to the power of 7.25. Yep, is wow, that's a big number 1408.104848. On and on and on. Seems reasonable because you know um, e is about 2.718 so if I were to do like an equivalent 2 point like 718 or so to the power of 7.25 we also expect around the same like um, I'm not sure if that's mirrored or not but it is also like a thousand four hundred so yeah it looks good looks reasonable looks beautiful mathematic magic it's a good time and the answer uh, that is given here is absolutely correct um, now it is probably better to leave your final answer looking like this um, as the e um, because like when you when you introduce the decimals and that's a very long a lot of decimals um, you're gonna lose precision if you um, cut them off so it's better to just leave it as something exact which is this e to the power of 7.25
Sounds good. Sounds great. I think it sounds great. Logarithms, um, natural logarithms or regular logarithms, they're pretty simple um, once you get the hang of them. So the above solution is good. Okay. Awesome.